Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me start by uh, saying it's such a great honor to be here to present in front of a distinguished audience. Um, let me give you a brief background about myself. My name is Kaylin Hicks, and I recently graduated from USC with a master's degree in communication management. And what I'd like to present today is my research on diversity management and organizational inclusive behaviors in the public relations sector. Now, the purpose of this research is to look at diversity management and organizational inclusive practices by examining how inclusive practices can affect employee perceptions of work culture at PR firms and how inclusive practices and diversity management can affect employee performance. Now, during these next few minutes, I'd like to give you an overview of OIB and diversity management and discuss some results of my, um, of my, of my presentation. So, the next few minutes, I'll be going over my background, which is the current ethnic makeup of the PR, my brief history in OIB of diversity management, some results, and some conclusions. So, let me give you a brief overview of diversity and inclusion in the PR industry. So according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the current ethnic makeup of the PR industry is 91% white, 4.3% African American, 2.3% Asian American, and 7.6% Hispanic. Now due to disproportionate racial and gender representation in the PR organization, industry media outlets such as PR Week, PRSA, and P. Reagan PR Daily have discussed how diversity management and inclusive tactics can increase diversity in PR firms. Now, however, research on um, diversity and inclusion in the PR industry have discussed how leadership, particularly CEOs in the PR industry, misconstrued definitions of diversity and inclusion and lacked expertise in diversity management and inclusive practices. So researchers have found that leadership uh, qualities, particularly you know, organizational management qualities, has uh, influenced diversity management and inclusion in the PR sector. Okay. No worries. So what is OIB? OIB is an organizational management concept derived from three theories. It's derived from the social identity theory, social comparison theory, and the optimal distinctiveness theory. Now I know we don't have much time to dive into those three theories, um, but let me give you a brief overview of what those theories are. So the social identity theory explains that an individual's sense of whom they are are based on the group membership. The social comparison theory is the idea that individuals desire to, to attain um, social and, and comparison within groups. And the optimal distinctiveness theory is the idea that individuals posit to attain an optimal distinctiveness of inclusion and balance within and between social groups and situations. Now, research has found that OMB impacts on performance, organization commitment, and employee turnover. Diversity management, on the other hand, which is a set of organizational processes strive to increase diversity in the PR sector, has found to increase fairness, support, and ethnic minority representation. So now, now I'd like to go over some of the preliminary results that we have for our current study. So in our study, we decided to do measure diversity initiatives. And as you can see here, these are the top three and bottom three performing diversity initiative items. So race was a high priority, which was 83% of participants uh, actually said that that was a high priority a diversity initiative in their organization. Diversity thought mental health was 73%, 30% was accessibility, religion was 28.4%, and socioeconomic status was 16.5%. Now, I thought this was really interesting as far as race, diversity, thought, and mental health being the top three, and accessibility, religion, and socioeconomic stomachs was uh, the bottom three performing items. So we also measured OIB measures, and those measures were a seven-point Likert scale ranging from one to seven. Uh, we decided to test commitment from top leadership, uh, the ability of employees to influence work group decisions, and then also treating employee fair. So as you see, I'll read some of the skills that we have had. So my supervisor assigns tasks and space based on the knowledge, the skills, and abilities possessed by individual employees. That was ranked 79% in the grades. And what's interesting here that stands out to me is that my supervisor ratings, compared to the in my organization ratings um, for senior management, 
that my supervisors, so treating employees fairly, actually scored higher than the ones from senior management. So participants actually felt that senior management were, participants, excuse me, participants felt that supervisors were treating employees fairly, but their organization senior management wasn't providing, you know, organizational diverse initiatives to, to uh, increase all segments of the site. And then, um, I know I'm short on time, but here's some more that uh, OIB measures. So these were the top three and the bottom three performing or OIB measures. So like I mentioned in the previous slide, my supervisors were really high compared to in my organization senior management, except for that my supervisor seeks to input before making an important course decision. But the biggest um, uh, Likert scale one that I want to point out today was in my organization, senior management has policies and programs in place to ensure pay equity. That was scored really low compared to all the other skills that we measured. So right now that was at 41.2%. So in conclusion, we looked at today uh, the lack of racial and gender representation in the PR industry. We discuss OIB and diversity management and how that positively impacts performance and the organizations. And we show that the result that peer reforms are making some progress, but there's still some areas of improvement. Thank you for your time today. Are there any questions?